you ever gone to your doctor's office and looked on his walls? If you go to most doctor's offices, they generally have their uh, diplomas on their walls where they studied. I guarantee you, if you were pre preparing for surgery and you went to your doctor's office and you looked up on his wall and saw that he studied at Mickey Mouse University, that you would probably leave that office as soon as you could. What's on our walls are our credentials, so to speak, who we are. And as Catholics, I'm not sure if I've ever walked into a home, my own included, where I saw a baptism certificate prominently displayed. But our baptism is really what makes us who we are as followers of Christ. And you would think that if something so central to who we are is important, that we would show it in some way. And maybe not a baptism record on the wall, but primarily in our lives. Our baptism helps us realize and really defines us as daughters and sons of light. And really all of the sacraments, really it all, they all go back to helping us be a daughter or a son of God. The Eucharist shapes us into this body of Christ when we receive the Eucharist. Reconciliation and the anointing of the sick help us realize the healing power of Christ in our lives as brothers and sisters of Christ. When we commit ourselves in the sacrament of marriage or in holy orders, we're given special graces through our baptism to live out those commitments and that witness in the world and confirmation connects us with this spirit that was described in the gospel in, at Jesus' baptism. Jesus baptizes us with fire and the spirit. A further purification. In our parish, we have a wonderful program called RCIA, the Rite of Christian Initiation for Adults, and also for children who uh, are looking to be baptized. It is a gift to not only those who will receive those sacraments, but I believe it's a gift to all of us. When we see adults and children preparing for baptism, it ought to help us realize, well, why am I baptized and how am I living that out? And so, in a moment, we are going to have I think 10 individuals in front of us who are preparing for this sacrament of baptism and confirmation and Holy Communion. Their journey has started, oh, much before they even came to the inquiry period. That's the first step, is just to check things out, to inquire what this is really about. They're currently in the learning stage, the catechumenate stage. And the anointing that they will receive will give them strength for that journey. It will take them into Lent, where they will enter into a deeper stage called the stage of enlightenment and purification, where the Spirit will help them really examine, well, where are those areas in their lives and really in our lives? that need further purification so that we can be more like Christ. At the Easter Vigil, we will celebrate these sacraments with them and be blessed through them. And then the last part, from the Vigil to Pentecost, they will live out a stage called mystagogia. Mystagogia is, what now? How do I live this out now that I am fully initiated into this 
Roman Catholic Latin Rite Church. So they'll examine their gifts and the ministries and how to best give themselves in service and in love in a community of faith. The RCIA indeed is a gift. And when these individuals come up, I ask you to pray for them from the bottoms of your hearts as they receive this special anointing and to remember their faces and to pray for them in your own personal prayer. I believe these individuals will be in front of us, leaven us, bring us all up as a community and so are a blessing indeed to all of us. And as we share our Eucharist, we remember them in special ways in their journey of faith, which is now connected to ours. So at this time, I invite the catechumens to come forward and to face the congregation. Alleluia. Let us rise now. Alleluia. 